everyone hope you're all doing well today i'm coming at you with my first impression video featuring the rimmel london match perfection foundation it comes with a bottle like this so yung cap niya, it has spf 20 it claims to moisturize your skin 24 hours it has pore blurring effect 30 ml and i'm in the shade 203 through beige this is for dry combination skin i need a foundation that won't cling on my dry patches ang gagawin ko half of my face I'll be using the Real Techniques sponge and half of my face yung Real Techniques buffing brush. Let's get started. Try ko one pump muna. So, ang consistency niya ganito. Hindi siya yung sobrang creamy, hindi rin siya yung sobrang runny. Just in the middle. Wala akong nilagay na primer, nag-cleanse, nag-tone, and nag-moisturize lang ako ng skin. Unahin ko yung buffing brush. Ang goal ko is to cover my tiny veins sa pisngi. I have a lot of that. And yun yung goal ko. And also to even out skin tone. Meron din akong redness around the side of my nose, dito sa may lips. By the way, just in case you're wondering bakit yung kilay ko maganda, I have tattoo eyebrows, um, eyeliner, tsaka lips. Yeah, I think na-mention ko na yan sa previous vlogs ko. I just want to let you know. <laughs> Baka kasi sabihin nyo naka-makeup na ako. <laughs> Na-cover naman yung ditong area. Yung veins ko sa ditong area. Pero meron kasi ako dito na medyo... Kita pa rin naman. Pero okay lang. Or blurring effect. Hmm. Hindi ko masabi. Kagamitin ko na yung the real techniques na sponge dito sa kabilang side. Dab, dab, dab lang daw. Well, hindi naman siya nag-cling sa dry patches ko. Because I do get dry patches once in a while. It's much better to use a sponge than a brush. So, yeah, I'll, I'll just <laughs> use it also on the other side. I like to use the sponge more on this foundation. Mmm! I like it! It matches my skin tone. Let's try kung buildable siya. Another layer. I'll put another layer. One pump again. And then, try ko. Diretso sa sponge. Ay, sorry. Yeah, it's definitely buildable siya. Yeah, I, I like it. Pero na rin siya naging concealer ko, as you can see. Medyo sticky, but tolerable siya. Okay, hindi siya nag oxidize It did even out my skin tone. And... Na-cover niya yung, yung mga veins. I'm going to set it with the Ben Nye Luxury Powder in Buff. Yung banana powder kasi, yellow siya para sa akin. Also, I'm going to use the Real Techniques Blush Brush. Mas gusto ko to kasi fluffy siya. See what I mean? Okay, so I applied the rest of my makeup. Overall, I like it. It did not oxidize nor heavy on my skin. It has great coverage. It's buildable. It also served as my concealer. Or maybe because I don't have that dark circles talaga. Yung redness uh, around my nose, yung, yung veins on my cheeks, na cover niya. Um, which is I like. It did not show my dry patches. If ever I run out, I will purchase it again. For the price point, you get more than what you paid for. Sana nakatulong tong video na to. Hindi para convince kayo na bumili ng product. 
pero para magkaroon kayo ng other options. Um, like me, I like high-end products and I'm quite amazed. Um, drugstore lang siya, but then it worked well on my skin. I hope you like this video and if you do, please give this a thumbs up. Comment down below. Subscribe if you haven't. See you guys next time. Bye!